this game tonight. Uh, boy, Randy just, wow, Randy was really something tonight. And uh, it was one of those games where everything went right for us. Uh, loose balls were falling into our hands. They were missing layups. And, uh, and we were hitting tough shots. And just one of those nights. I mean, uh, it happens in the PBA every once in a while. It's fun to be on the, the good side of it. I've been on the bad side of that many, many times. So uh, it's fun to be on the good side of it this time. Um, but really, it's just like all the stars aligned for us tonight, and we got a good game out of it. Uh, I can't think of anybody who didn't play well on our team. Everybody played well. And I can't really think of anybody who played well for Pure Foods. It was just, again, one of those nights. Um, but it was, uh, you know, we did it against a, 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 a team that we really respect. You know, a team that is really disciplined and, and matches us at what we consider ourselves very disciplined, they match us in that discipline. So to be able to come out and do that against them is, is, is very impressive. You know, they're an incredibly um, quality team. Incredible quality team. So, I don't know. I'm not, I'm kind of speechless. I don't know what to say. It was just one of those, like I said, one of those nights. How about Larry from this year? Uh, you know, Larry, you know, I always used to watch, you know, Red Red hit those big threes or James hit those big threes. And I used to say, God, you know, that, that really just energizes the whole team when they hit those those shots like that. And it's the anticipation, you know, when you see him open and catching the ball, the anticipation's already building on the bench. And then he makes it and it just lifts the whole team. So, you know, it's, it's, uh, he's, 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 he's inspiring his shots like that or, you know, a straight shooter like that. He's inspiring. But right now, his, his, his shooting is overshadowing the rest of his game. He's handling the ball for us. He's, he's playing some point guard for us. He's uh, making great passes. He's getting to the basket. And most especially, he's been a, a, a big stopper for us. And, and uh, he played a great job against both James Yap and Simon tonight. And uh, so he's just not your normal run-of-the-mill you know, pure shooter. He's a guy who can be a pure shooter, but can do so many other things. And that's what we really appreciate about him. Is, is the shooting is really nice, and it's fun, and again, it's inspiring. But the, what we appreciate is all the other stuff he does, um, and why we went after him. Not because of the shooting, but because of the shooting and the other stuff that he does. So, uh, great job by Larry. Finally, people have probably uh, stopped asking you about whether you're going to replace Randy or not. Yeah, I, I think so. I, I haven't heard that question in, in about a week or so. He's really coming to his own. He's really understanding the league now. He's understanding, um, you know, how to use his quickness. Uh, rather than, you know, he, I think in the beginning he felt like he had to be a power player, like all the power players here. And, uh, you know, he's just feeling himself well. He's just feeling the game. And uh, I think he had a hard time doing that at the beginning, but now he's, he's feeling it. He knows when he should take over. He knows when he, when he could get to the basket on people. Uh, he's making better decisions on his jump shot, jump shooting. Uh, and then defensively, you know, he's all over the court. Kirby just could not do a thing against him. And, uh, uh, you know, he, he did win the CBA Defensive Player of the Year. And he's showing that now. And that's one of the reasons why we wanted to get him, because of that great defense that we knew he could play. And uh, so it's all coming together for him. And, and, you know, I think he's gone from what a lot of people thought was the worst import here. I think he's developing into one of the best now. So, uh, and that's all to his credit, you know, because he's worked hard. You know, it, it would have been easy to change him if we didn't see anything. But he worked hard every day in practice. You know, he worked hard to get along with his teammates. He worked hard to listen to my instructions. And, uh, you know, and, and he has great skills, so um, he didn't give us any reason to change him. Everybody just saw him on the court, but we saw him behind the scenes. And now I think people are seeing what he was doing behind the scenes. He's doing it now in the, in the, on stage. So they're starting to see that, what we were seeing. But again, it's easy to change an import. It's so easy. Um, but uh, it's, it's, you know, they, they give you a reason to do it. But Randy did not give us a reason. The only thing that was against him at that time was our record. And we didn't feel that record was his fault. So, uh, you know, it was, it was kind of an easy decision to keep him, as opposed to what everybody else thought. It was an easy decision for us.
maybe you'll start maybe you'll start a new trend. The other teams will be sending home their seven footers and bringing in six seven guys. <laughs> oh, we like being you know. I think from the very beginning we said we want to try to win different. Uh, you know, try to win different. That was one of the things we said right at the very beginning of the conference. We knew we'd be the exception and not the rule here in the conference, and we just had to convince our guys that we can win differently, and we don't have to be like everybody else, and uh, uh, take pride in what we do. And, uh, um, and the fact that, that Sonny also was coming into his own, you know, he guarded Bradimi basically all by himself, one-on-one, -on -one. we didn't give him any help tonight, and uh, the only time he didn't guard him was when he wasn't in the game, and Randy took over, but uh, uh, give Sonny some credit. And again, if we brought in a seven-footer, we wouldn't be able to be developing something like he is. So uh, it's all coming together really well. The only problem is, is that we're still, what, sixth, seventh place? So, you know, nothing to cheer about yet. But we're back in, we're back in the race. You know, we fell behind a few furlongs, and uh, now we're back in the race. And uh, we're trying to get our nose up with everybody else's noses. Uh, but we're not there yet.